Hey guys, this is Kaiju2014117 signing back in. I know it's been a while we cover any of the Godzilla updates, which we will go over today. But today is May 31st. You know what that means? That's exactly one year we saw Godzilla King of the Monsters in the movie theaters of last year. And oh my gosh, I had an amazing time when I saw it. Well, actually I saw it on May 30th with one of my friends that I haven't seen for a long time, which we'll cover that in a moment. But for now, we're going to be doing a quick, funny, little skit music video that I am going to be showing. Now, just to let you know, I do not own this music. It belongs to Toho. Any music you're listening into this video belongs to Toho and its own company rights. I do not own any of the music. I'm basically borrowing it just for showing entertainment. And any Godzilla-related characters that I presented or anything... They all belong to Toho and their rightful owners, okay? Just to let you guys know. Anyways, I hope you guys will enjoy this video and then we'll talk about some updates later on. Anyways, we're gonna count down for the music video in three, two, one, let's do this. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the funny little kitty skit I did for all of you guys. For some reason, I actually enjoyed that music. And I'm not the only person who actually enjoyed that. If you guys know Monster Island Buddy, he's definitely enjoying that one. But he doesn't enjoy the cheapy Godzilla design, which is the same thing for me. Because he looks like a freaking broccoli or something. But overall, I did enjoy the music. So anyways, hey guys. So... Before we go into the big update, I guess it's time for me to show you guys my collection. I know I haven't shown you much about my collections of monsters or whatever I have. So let's begin, shall we? So come over here this way, cameraman. So from my bedside, I have a couple of monsters that's from based on the movie. So if you guys already know Raijin, Hakujo, and Strikethorn, these three are from Pacific Rim Uprising, the sequel to Pacific Rim. I love Pacific Rim series. The second one, I do enjoy it, but I feel they could have done better. I still love the first one because Guillermo del Toro has a great love for the kaiju monsters. And I wish he was actually back to do the sequel. I think there was rumor about that, but um, something must have halted him. But it's okay. I mean, I do enjoy these new monsters and the new kaijus and the new Jaegers, but... We'll have to see if they're going to do the third one. If we are hoping to get a third one, maybe with Del Toro coming back. Anyways, next to it on my bedside is the Rampage movies. We got Lizzie the Giant Crocodile, which was originally supposed to be a lizard. We got George the Albino Giant Gorilla. And of course, Ralph the Giant Wolf. So I did love Rampage. I love how awesome that movie is, how it's mindless action <laughs> and all those kind of things and even putting into silly ridiculousness as you can say but I love the, I love that movie. Plus I like Wayne Ross Johnson. He was an awesome chill guy. Now over here is one of my Godzilla collections right here. So this is the Godzilla Bank which 
my sister bought it for me on my, I believe on my birthday. That was pretty nice of her and I appreciate that. Of course, you saw me on my Godzilla mask and the Godzilla gloves I was wearing just earlier today. Over here, you can come closer if you can, is my NECA collection. So, so far, this is the NECA collection I have for the poster movies. Now, I was planning to get the Godzilla King, the original Godzilla movie poster box, but fortunately that box got broken and I don't want a broken box. I want something to look like this. Now, if you do see this one a little bit bent, I mean, I'm okay with it, but I prefer it to be straight, but unfortunately, not many uh, stores have that and if you're wondering why i guess target employees have no respect for godzilla figures not blame on you guys but this is how you guys treat your figures if you want to sell these you gotta make sure they're in good condition otherwise what's the point anyway so i do got godzilla versus the Stro versus destroya and then i love how they presented the godzilla figure in here and the box art it's amazing and if you guys are looking for these, look at look near the Target stores. They're mostly selling it on Target. Along with, of course, God's King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mothra the Original, The Return of Godzilla, then the GMKs, I got both of them. One that involves with the Atomic Breath Ray, and then one that has no Atomic Breath Ray, which is basically, I would say, it's the, the single one. If you cannot see it clearly, I'm sorry. Here's a little light. Unfortunately, my new room has limited lights, unfortunately. Then right here, I got all the MonsterVerse collection right here. So from here, we got Rodan, Godzilla turning blue from the movie poster, the movie poster, Mothra that just recently came out, Burning Godzilla. I gotta admit, that was really hard to find. I was lucky enough to find one in Target and it was really, really hard. Especially they said like it was called off. And if you guys can't find it, they probably got to charge this a little bit higher since it's pretty rare. And of course, I got the Mothra figure from GameStop, actually. And of course, I got Godzilla himself, which is also from GameStop. And I got plenty more spaces where I can put some new monsters in here. Anyways, over here, this is, of course, this Godzilla right here is from Vietnam that I bought it when I was a kid. And it, I believe my grandparents gave it to me and it was really special to me especially now they're uh no longer in this world but i greatly appreciate for their gift plus i also got this one from i believe it was in toys r us it was pretty rare to find this kind of godzilla nowadays then behind it is of course the 1998 godzilla and oh hey here's a NECA godzilla right over there now i did watch the 1998 godzilla and i will do a review on him one day and of course we have king caesar on the back now here is the box uh sorry not box here is the cabinet of my godzilla collection and kaiju stuff so let's look over here so for this section i'm putting i try to put my i try to do my best to put all the showa series godzilla monsters even you got the 1954 the 1970 godzilla jet jaguar Megalon, all those. Now, there's some plenty of spaces. Hopefully, if I can find Abira, Kamunga, Kamakuris, maybe Varan, maybe Gabara, and a little bit Minila, I would like to put them in here as well. Over here, I got other, other kaijus, but behind it, if you guys can see a little clearly, there's Gamera. Yes, I'm also a Gamera fan, and I will be doing a Gamera movie review, along with a figure reviews, whenever I have the time. Probably during the summertime. Then right here are a couple of Ultraman figure monster movie Bandai's that I've collected. I got interested with a little bit on Ultraman, but as well I got interested with most of the monsters I've seen. And below that is right here are some of the Pacific Rim figures, all the Jaegers behind it from the first movie, and most of the Godzilla necklace that I've already opened that I'm keeping as well. Plus, I also like to keep some of the posters right over here because they look awesome. Alright, before we go to the center bed, let's come over to this side right here. So, this side I also have some of my Godzilla collections for the SH Monster Art series. Except that Ninja Turtle I accidentally just put up there just for fun and gags. But, I haven't bought those for a while. Probably because they're getting more expensive nowadays. It's... 
kind of hard, but I'll do my best if I can collect them as much as I can, especially the recent new ones that I really want. So up there, you got one of NECA's bigger Godzilla from 2014 Godzilla. Then I got my personal favorite design, Godzilla 2000 or Godzilla Millennium. Next to Burning Godzilla, Gigan Final Wars. Then right here we have Destroyer and of course the 90s Godzilla. And I believe there's some figure in the back that I also put in. So I also have, let's see what we have. Oh, we got Kuryu and Mecha Godzilla. Sorry, Raphael, Ninda had to put you right over here, just temporary. All right, next to it, what do we got? Oh, we also got the other version of Godzilla, which is, I believe, is the 1995-ish or four Godzilla design. I believe that's what it is. If I'm if I'm not correct, just let me know down below what is the actual accurate Godzilla. So right here, you can see this is the three versions of Destroyer, so you get like the base, you got the bigger, and then you got the flying mode. Then we got Balante. Is there anything in the back? No, I don't think so. Next to it is Fire Rodan, SH Mustard's Fire Rodan. I gotta say he was pretty small for a figure, but oh well. Alright, gotta have to move this lamp a little bit so we can get a little bit open spaces. Plus, we can check more over here. So right here, I have, well, a really cute little Godzilla. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it, right? I mean, it's a better design than Minila. Except, I would say maybe the 60s Minila looks kind of weird. But this one, and then the 2004 Minila was actually pretty cute. Then, we got, of course, an, one of the 19, early 1960s, or I would say Godzilla versus Mothra design Godzilla. And then we got Space Godzilla. Next to it is one of the comic book legendary series, which is from the first one as a prequel to Godzilla 2014, it's Godzilla Awakening. And of course I got the prequel comic book for Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is Godzilla Aftershock. So basically this is after 2014 and before 2019. Alright, next up over here, this is one of my siblings Rubik's Cube, he's really good at it. This is one of my art class for the Godzilla uh, design. I know it's not great, but uh, I did my best. I'll place it right here just in case I don't want it to fall down. I want to count it in my memories. This is one of the kaiju from the Pacific Rim Hardship. It did appear in the film, but it was barely, barely shown. So it's one of those. Behind it, we have the kaiju knife head without the battle damage. Or without the battle damage. So this is very rare to find. Next to it, we have a SH Monster Arts King Kong. And right here is, I got, well, well, the owner who keeps seeing me buy Godzilla gave me this for free, which is, um, I guess it's the toothbrush holder. And that was pretty cute, pretty cute. And it, it was nice of him to give it to me. Right over here, well, you guys already know my name is Quinn. So I bought this from Catalina Island called Quinn Lane. So I'm going to put this up at my door so that way you guys can see it's in my room. Right here, well, not part of my Godzilla collection, but this is where I graduated. Yes, I was from San Francisco, but I'm not currently living in San Francisco, but I am currently living in California, just to let you know. Right over here, pretty expensive King Ghidorah from Heisei series. Now... I do know there were some issues with this King Ghidorah specifically from the wings at least because I heard people were touching at least right here to pull it because if you do that it's going to break the wing but they heard there's a best way to actually control the wing is basically holding where this part is and just turn it. Now don't push it too hard of course just make sure you turn it properly as it is. Now I don't play it too much of course I just leave it the way it is all right over here is one of well I would say probably a funny trophy that I earned uh, from one of the barbecues I believe and this is a comic from a friend of mine who gave it to me not Godzilla related though anyways moving on we have SH Monster Rocks Batra kind of basic box not a huge fan of it then right over here is Mogira SH Monster Arts as well. Now if you can see behind are all my 
Pacific Rim Uprising figures. Now and behind that is actually all the Ultramans that I have. I cannot show you all the Ultramans, but there are plenty of Ultramans behind it. <clears throat> then next up over here, we got two of them right here are Pacific Rim Kaiju's Otachi. Both one for ground stands, one for flying stands. Then on top of the ground stands is the Kaiju Knight um, Axe Head. So kind of like similar to the Traspasser, but I believe different colors. So I'm not too sure which one of them is the one that came through who or were the first kaijus and this one is the mutivore which appeared in australia which i believe is um oh well striker eureka is the one that took it down and on top of this is one of the idw's godzilla comic so right now i got the part one and then i got the part three of two which there are, should be i believe there are three series of it one is the first one is King of them of the monsters, which I'm okay with it. I actually liked it, but there were some who had issues with it, which I can see. Then there's a second one basically called Godzilla or ongoing. But I heard that there's um like the whole volume of the Godzilla comic is called Godzilla History's Greatest Monsters, which I'm trying to find that comic, but it's pretty hard to find. However, I did recently search up the Barnes and Noble saying that there is one coming up in sometimes in December of 2020 so I'm gonna get, be prepared to get that and of course I found this in Barnes and Nobles as well which is the third one it's Godzilla Rules of Earth however I only got volume two I'm trying to I'm trying to find the volume one which I heard is supposed to be coming out this month but because of coronavirus it's basically what halting me to collect it but when it's open again i'm gonna try to buy it as soon as possible once it's available now over here so i hope you don't mind the stuff this is just a video games that i have this is for a special someone who's gonna get this as a graduation gift over here you see all my kaiju monster movies and some similar kaiju movies which we will be doing a review very soon now over here there are a couple of gifts from my friends who gave it to me, who gave it to me as an awesome gift for my birthday and Christmas. But let's focus on the monsters, shall we? So we have up here are some of the extra monsters that I bought. So we got Guy Get Final Wars, Godzilla '90s, Godzilla Final Wars, Jet Jaguar, and Destroya, and this GMK Godzilla six inch, probably. Not my favorite GMK design, which we will go over later. And over here, I'm trying to put this in a Heisei series of the Godzilla collection. So right behind, you can see Biollante, you can see Rogan, you can see Godzilla 90s, which is a 6-inch figure for this side, unlike this one, I believe that's a 10, 11, maybe 12-inch. Now, of course, we got Mega Godzilla, Mogira, Batra, Burning Godzilla. Space Godzilla and then two Mothras. Now there are this is a very rare Mothra to find, but this one just recently came out. So if you guys can find a Mothra, go find any Japanese any near Japanese toy store to see if they have that available. Then I think I did not have enough room, so we put it part two down here a little bit, where we have Mech we have King Ghidorah right behind it, and then Mecha King Ghidorah next to it. Then of course I got another destroyer. I got Godzilla Jr. This guy was pretty hard to find too. He's, I believe, about 60 to 80, maybe 90 dollars if they're charging it. So if you guys can, try to get it as soon as possible because nowadays rare figures tend to be very, very overpriced. And we got a couple, of, of course, the Ultraman figure monsters. Now down here is a more interesting 90s era of Gamera. One of my favorite series of the haste of the gamma series on the hazy series now there is a new bandai gamma figure that's i believe is a 1995 gamma i'm going to get that very soon and i will do a review on it then below are some extra monsters that i put like a couple of the kaijus you can see right there from the pacific rim and some of the ultraman monsters now the main attraction we'll talk about here is the center of it. So, yes, 
If you're wondering, have I sleep on the bed filled with all these? Every time. So, right over here, of course, from this side, I got the American 1998 Godzilla, or as we should call it, Zilla. We got Baragon, Kaiser Ghidorah, Mothra, GMK, Ghidorah, GMK. This is my personal favorite Godzilla, GMK. Of course, Gamera, Toto. Then, we got, of course, Monsterverse Rodan, Muto, Monsterverse Ghidorah, Monsterverse Mothra, Monsterverse Godzilla, and I got the recent Kong from Playmates, and then of course the 2014 Godzilla. And then on this side over there, you can see that's King Kong from the Peter Jacksons in 2005. We got Final Wars Godzilla, Shin Godzilla, Earth Godzilla, and then of course the Planet Eater Ghidorah. And then right over there, you can see the Final Wars Rodan. Mothra from Tokyo SOS, you see Orga, Anguirus Final Wars, Kuryu, which I'm going to get another Kuryu because there are, this one is the drill hand version, that's probably going to be rare to find, another Final Wars, Gigan, and then I have Megagirus. Then from the center, you'll see all the bunch of stuff that I have. So right here, I have Godzilla. King of the Monsters Blu-ray. I'm not going to open this because I want to keep this as a collection. And if I find any of the director or actors from King of the Monsters, I'm going to ask him to sign it and I'm going to seal it away when I can. Then, of course, I found this in Target, which is, I believe it's a Godzilla gift set. However, it's in Target for $19.99, but the, I guess if you don't open this, it'll be a $35 value if I sell it. Right over here is my old Game Boy Advance. I think it's still working, but I haven't played it for such a long time. This right here, you saw me uh, when I accidentally dropped it. That was not intention. But this is a, a gift from my friend who came from China. Then right over here, we have the Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal. And of course, the poster 1950, uh, 1956 Godzilla King of the Monsters. Anyways, these are all my collection, guys. So... Let's do a quick update first of all. So, as of today, we are celebrating one year of Godzilla King of the Monsters release. And even though it's not financially successful, it did bring a smile to all the G fans. Now, to you, um, to you, uh, most of the publics who've seen Godzilla who are okay with it, it's totally fine. But I am grateful to see that movie in theaters. It's such a huge dream. Plus, I wish we actually had that again in a G-Fest. I really want to go to G-Fest. It was such a big dream for me, and hopefully one day I will be able to go there. However, probably not this year because of the quarantine that's happening. Now, I do hear there was some delays on Godzilla vs. Kong because we were supposed to be hoping to get a trailer. Now, honestly for me, I don't care at this moment. I'm just going to wait until when it's ready because right now, we're not really 100% ready with everything that's happening. I know many people who are like me have been patiently waiting for this film to be released. If it gets extended to next year, it's fine by me. I'd rather Godzilla succeed and for everyone to be safe rather than just rather than just rushing it. But anyways, that's my collection. And I'll give you guys a quick update. So starting in summer, I will be doing movie reviews for kaijus and as well figure reviews along with it okay and i'll give you guys an update next time so until now i appreciate you guys your time and comment down below let me know what you guys think about my collection so far what you like about it and what are some things i may have forgotten oh just maybe a quick look on that side yes i'm huge transformers fans as well and some of the michael bay film anyways that's all for today guys just comment down below, let me know, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Until next time, this is Kaiju2014117, signing out.